G'day all, this is a NJ Moore 6cc hit and miss engine, all that came when I bought this was the engine, I uh, routed out this wooden base out of some hardwood, also I made this um, wooden cart and routed that and made these brass bolts on the lathe, put these brass carry handles on the wooden cart. Um, I made a riser for the petrol tank so that the petrol tank's higher, a little bit higher than the carb, and put that PMR globe valve on there, which so I can turn the petrol on and off the flow to the carby, which it works really well. Also made this brass pulley that does two things that I can drive accessories off it and it's also for the rope start put some brass bolts in that I made and some brass strips just to dress it up made this little wooden box for the electronics and the on and off switch for the motor I've got all the electronics underneath here this is um, a four battery holder which has got one dummy battery in there that I made up um, what else have I done to this I made up this on the lathe this is a bit of brass silver brazed in here and I've also put a, a steel disc in the middle and on the wooden cart I've put a rare earth magnet which gets any spill coming down from the carby and it's just easy to get rid of that spill but all in all it's it's a really nice engine I do like this engine it's been quite a while since I've run it I just run it on Zippo fuel it's really easy for me I mix it up with a, a few drops of output oil To lubricate the cylinder so here we go we'll put some Zippo mixed Zippo fuel in okay that's that filled put the cap back on there the Zippo fuel isn't the cheapest fuel, and if I can stop any evaporating, I will. Okay, we'll turn that fuel on with the little PMR globe valve. Put the switch on. Just turn this a little bit so I can get some fuel coming through yep the fuel's coming through the carby so hopefully this starts as I said it's been ages since I've started it so the rope oh, geez I'm dropping things today pick that up put the rope pulley on Okay, that's ready to go now the other thing I do is I make up moose milk and um, moose, moose milk is something that the black powder guys use for uh, lubricating and cleaning out their black powder rifles and pistols all it is is some ballistol mixed with water and as soon as that ballistol gets into the water you'll see it turn white and as the blistol soluble, just mixes up really nice. And it's just a good thing to use for something like this as it stops any rust in, in there. Easy to clean up. Alright, that's that full. Alright, now fingers crossed this starts. 
time. Try it again. Ooh, in the rock. Well, that's running nice. It's not even the slightest bit warm there. Turn that off. This is something that uh, I got a real lot of pleasure out of this, doing all the modifications for this engine, for the base and the the timber work and uh, doing the electronics for the box and underneath and uh, it's really nice and this is this uh, engine doesn't sit in my steam room this one sits on our sunroom at, at the back of the house on an old roll top desk and it just looks unbelievable sitting up there every time I walk into the house I, I look at it so it gets looked at multiple times a day it doesn't get run very often but it's just a beautiful engine. Really happy that started on, uh, the, I think it was the second go. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this little Enjoy More 6 cylinder, 6cc hit and miss engine. And uh, those hints about the moose milk, 
and the Zippo with a little couple of drops of outboard oil and also that um, one blank battery is um, a hint that when I got into the hit and miss engines it was something that uh, googling and reading uh, it was the most common thing that I read was to have one blank battery um, it just helps with not getting an overload that shorts out the hall sensor or the electronic components on these little hit Chinese hit and miss engines. So, as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.